Okay, I want to cover this because I think it's a public interest. So I've been paying attention to a lot of the flights that are going on overhead and um, some of the patterns and the agencies who are doing these flights are very concerning to me. So this is just one company who I want to um, discuss and cover a little bit. This is Coastal Defense Incorporated or Inc. and um, I will be putting a call into them. Now these guys just keep circling overhead for days on end, um, hour after hour after hour. Many residential neighborhoods, um, so to me that's a public interest, so that's why I'm covering this. This is where I got the phone number, government contracts, US dot government contractors company. One thing to note too, little side note, regarding all my Super Bowl coverage, this is US military. Months of preparation led up to tomorrow's Super Bowl 55 flyover. We had the chance to chat with Air Force Global Strike Command and about tomorrow's cross-country mission. So the U.S. Air Force Brahma Trifecta kicks off Super Bowl LV Air Show. This talks about the Kansas City Chiefs and Tampa Bay Buccaneers. It is the United States Air Force a Global Strike Command who has been working for months to make sure the Super Bowl 55 gets off to a good start. Hi, Sherry. Hey, I'm wondering, um, there is a plane registered to you guys, and I'm in San Diego, and it is flying overhead, um, doing circles. It's the last couple days, at least the last time I've seen it was the last couple days, but I'm wondering, what's the purpose of this plane flying overhead in circle your pattern for hours and hours at a time? I what have the they're doing. Um, well, what are they doing? That's what I want to know. What are they doing? An assignment. What and can I ask what that is? Because it's right over my head, so I'm a little concerned about it. And they've been there for multiple days. So, what's the assignment? Because I see some of the um, the work that you guys do is all like the communication stuff. Um. Uh, I'm just curious. I um, I, I don't really have any information. Um, I know that we do have a crew in California, but that's the extent of, of what I know right now. Well, can you find out? I'm sure I could. Will you find out? Let me take your name, and I'll have our operations manager get back to you. Hmm. Is there, um, can I just have an email from you, and I'll contact you via email? Well, I would prefer to have them contact you. Uh, if you would rather email, that's fine. My email is sherry, S-H-E-R-R-Y. Uh-huh. At go C di.com that's letters. like that's like I see god.com isn't that funny huh um and so but what I mean I'm sure you have some kind of clue as to what's going on in San Diego specifically this area it almost seems like some kind of ritual I'm not really sure what to say well, I mean, I'm sure you have some ideas to what's going on and to what the patterns that are being flown. Um, it looks like he's landed and he's looks like he's refueling right now. But I just want to let you know, we've got eyes on this guy and we're a little curious as to what the operations are. So maybe what I'll do is I'll call you back tomorrow and maybe you can get some answers for me. Is that 
possible? Um, as I said, I would rather this, that our operations manager speak with you, if you don't mind. Okay, can you give me his number? No, ma'am, but I can give his yours to him. Oh, it only works one way? Yeah. Um, are you guys, aren't you guys, are you public-private partnership? I'm sorry, are we what? Are you a public-private partnership working with the government? I'm not familiar with that terminology. Public-private partnership? Um, hmm. Well, it's, I mean, Operation Warp Speed used it. Quite a number of people use public-private. Like, you're working, you're a private company, but you're working with government um, contracts. It's interesting, though, that I can't really get any open answers to what's going on. What's, um, can, can you as at least... I said, I, I don't have exact information about what they're doing. I know that they're there. Yeah, so do I. Do you, is there a name that, um, of who's, who am I giving my information to? Can I have his name? His first name is Brett. His last name is Ramos, R-A-M-O-F. R-A-M-O-F, like a ram? Yes. Oh, and is that what the logo is about then that I saw? The ram? It's kind of like a ram head? I believe that may be a coincidence. Oh. All right. Well, um, so what? I just wondered, you guys are in Pennsylvania, so what's... Why are you all the way out here? Just the way it turned out? I, I don't know how to answer that. All right. So, but it's a telecommunications. You guys doing some kind of um, frequency stuff or? Yeah. As I indicated, ma'am, I don't know what the nature of, of the work is that they've been handling this week. Um, how long have you been working with this company? 14 years. 14 years? And yeah. And you don't know the nature of, of their work? I mean, I'm just curious. I think, you know, as a citizen that you guys are flying overhead hours and hours and hours at a time and days at a time, don't we kind of have a little bit of a right to know? I, I don't know what agency you would address that concern with. I honestly don't I would, know. I would address it with the agency who is doing the work overhead. The people who are actually doing um, the flight. The, they're the ones that are actually present on this location. That's who I am addressing. Right. So who's, who's Roberto Liero? Do you know? Who's Roberto Liero? I'm not familiar with that name at all. Huh. Well, he's been taking photographs of your all's aircraft, so I was just curious. All right. Well, um, maybe I'll just try to find uh, Brett Ramov. And, um, you know, I just think that it's, it's overhead on a public or a residential area, and I think that people have a right to know, and I don't, I don't know if anyone will really appreciate the secrecy to it. I'm sorry that you feel that way. Yeah. Thank you for calling. Have you heard of the Phoenix pro Project? No, ma'am, I have not. Do you guys work in Arizona? I'm sure that we have at some point. Hmm. And so what, what actually is the nature of your all's business? I mean, consultant. your consultants? Yes, ma'am. So consultants fly overhead around and around in circles? Again, I, I don't have any information about the type of activity they've been involved in. So your consulting business. 
Yes, ma'am. Interesting. All right. Um, we'll talk to you later. What was your name? My first name is Sherry, S-H-E-R-R-Y. My last name is Taylor, T-A-Y-L-O-R. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Bye.